crochet this adorable little bunny rabbit. It only takes about 15 minutes to make one. Um, I take 14 minutes if I'm not explaining and um, showing all the steps, but it's a very quick, easy, and no sew project. And as you can see, it has a cute little cotton tail in the back too. Everything is crocheted um, and we're working from top down. And these are really suitable to make as keychains. Let's go over the materials for this project. You'll need some super bulky weight yarn. I'm using Hobby's Honey Bunny, and this is a very velvety and plush yarn. You'll also need a five millimeter crochet hook, or you can use a suitable size that um, goes with your yarn. Just make sure you're crocheting without any gaps in between the stitches. You'll need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, eight millimeter plastic safety eyes, a little key ring if you'd like to add a keychain to your doll. And I have this linked in the description box if you'd like to get what I got. And you'll need some fiber fill stuffing. Optionally, you can also get some um, thin pink yarn to embroider some facial features onto your doll. We're gonna start with round one. For round one, you're going to make a slip knot just to begin your chain chain two, and then in that second chain from your hook, you're going to insert eight single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After you put eight single crochets in round one, you're ready to move on to round two. For round two, you're going to go into that first single crochet and you're going to increase. That means put two single crochets in the same stitch. We're going to repeat this around. So in that next single crochet, you're going to increase again by putting two single crochets in the same stitch. In this third single crochet, we're going to increase. Increase in the fourth single crochet and all the way around. Now we're going to work in the um, in straight rounds. So for rounds three all the way to round eight, we're just going to insert one single crochet in every stitch around. You're going to have 16 um, stitches in each round. So I'll do a few to show you. That's one, two, three, four, That's round three. You're just going to repeat that all the way around until you reach round number eight. We'll meet back at round eight. Here we have round eight complete. And as you can see, you have more of an oval shape now. We're going to make the ears. So insert your hook under a stitch in round two of the head. Here's round one and here's round two. And we're going to go ahead and start by attaching yarn. Here's my starting yarn tail. You want to keep it at uh, a bit of a length. We're going to pull it in later. You're going to chain three. Then you're going to triple crochet. So that means yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over and pull through. And you're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. And yarn over, pull through the last two. Then you're going to chain three. And we're gonna fasten off with a tail and you're gonna use this tail to pull into 
your rabbit's body. So let's go ahead and pull that in. We're going to go um, insert our hook into that uh, spot where um, the, the ear came out of. And I'm just pulling that part in. And I want to pull in that starting yarn tail as well. Don't let it hang out there in the body. And tug on your ear a little bit. You should have this cute little um, fluffy ear. And what you can do is um, tie the starting and ending yarn tails inside of the body. This way you don't have to worry about um, the yarn getting unraveled. And all you have to do is repeat on the other side with the same instructions for the next ear. After you have the ears on your doll, you can go ahead and insert some 8mm plastic safety eyes. I like to put them between round 3 and round 4. So counting down, that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So right between 3 and 4. And I like to put them about 4 stitches apart. So that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can attach different sizes of eyes and different um, uh, at different rounds or different stitch widths apart. It's really up to you. After you get the eyes in, it's time to put in the arms and the legs. For the arms and the legs, they're all crocheted the same way, just in different parts of the body. So they're all made with small puffs. You're going to insert your hook into a round between or stitch between round five and round six of the body. So that's counting down one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going between five and six here. And for the arm, I'm just going to pull some yarn through. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's really it. You can go ahead and fasten off and you're going to pull those yarn tails back into the body to hide and um, you can tie them together to make them extra secure. So that's one little arm and you're going to repeat on the other side again between rounds five and round six for the arms. Now that you've done the bunny's arms, you can go ahead and crochet the last round of the body, round nine, then we'll be able to make the legs and the tail. So for round nine, all you're gonna do is decrease around. I'm going into two stitches and single crocheting them together. So decrease eight all the way around. This is my second decrease, my third decrease, my fourth decrease, number five, number six, number seven, and last number eight. And you're going to fasten off with a long yarn tail and you're just going to pull that through. And now we can go ahead and do round or the legs and the tail. For the legs, you're going to work um, those similar puff stitches just in between rounds eight and rounds nine of the body. So here you can see um, this is cutting from top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So just right between these last two rounds, you're going to insert your hook, see where you kind of want the little legs to go. 
If you'd like them here or more to the side, it's really up to you. And again, you're just going to do the same way as you did the arms. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over and pull through and go through all three loops. I'm going to pull these yarn tails in to hide them. You can tie them on the inside if you want, make them extra secure, and repeat for leg number two on the next, on the other side. Let's go ahead and crochet the little tail. I'm going to use some white yarn to make that fluffy little cotton tail. You're going to insert your hook into the back of the, your doll, um, just between the last two rounds, between round eight and round nine. We're going to attach yarn, and we're gonna do a slightly larger puff here. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. That's three loops, and we're gonna do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, Yarn over and pull through. Now you're gonna have five loops on your hook. And you're gonna yarn over, pull through all five loops. That'll make the tail puffier than the arms and the legs. And we're going to fasten off and pull in those starting and ending yarn tails like you've done so for the arms and the legs. Remember to hide those yarn tails inside the body. Once you finish, you're going to add some stuffing to your amigurumi. I'm just sticking it in here uh, from the bottom of the body and using the back of my hook to push that stuffing in. Make sure your ami's stuffed really firmly, but not so much that it would stretch the stitches and produce gaps. All right, and once you are satisfied, you can finish up there. Um, if you'd like to, you can also use some pink thread and a yarn needle to embroider some um, facial features. Like for example, if you want to do a little nose or a mouth, you can do that. And when you're all ready, you can go ahead and um, get that yarn tail. And we're going to sew up the hole together. What I like to do is go through just the front loops of the last round. And I'm doing a running stitch, so I'm going in and out of those front loops. In in out, in and out, in, and I'm going to, when you go all the way around, you're going to scrunch or pull tight, and that will get your stitches nice and tight. And at this point, if you want your bunny to be just a cute little bunny to um, add to your um, little Easter egg. It'll fit really nicely into a little plastic Easter egg. But if you want to add a keychain, you're welcome to do that too and turn it into a um, little backpack accessory or a little purse accessory. To do that, I just go ahead and um, push my needle into the top of the doll's head. That's where I'm going to attach that key ring. And I'm going to go into um, the bottom again. And I like to secure it with a few stitches just to make sure it's really nice and secure. Okay. 
When you're all done, just fasten off and remember to remove all the little fuzz off your doll. I got some random fuzz here and there. And you will be all done and your little bunny is ready to go. You just love that little cotton tail in the back. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this little bunny with me. Um, as you can see, it's a super quick and easy project and great to make as a last minute Easter gift.